Jake Bowers, who has one of the greatest names on the Yankees. Love the name Jake. So that. let me ask you this. I want to know what you do after a game. What's the schedule looking like when you get home? Because you have a life afterwards, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, for me, a lot of the times, as long as uh, it's okay with my wife, I'll get home, I'll play a little Xbox with the boys back home. Oh, what game? I mean, we're all over the map right now. We're doing Call of Duty, uh, Apex Legends, a little bit of FIFA, a <laughs> little bit of UFC every now and then. Are you playing, like, in lobbies that other people might not know they're playing with Jake Bowers? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for that. sure. That's yeah, awesome. no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> uh, me and Sean, our camera guy, we grew up by Hudson Valley Renegades and we're driving by it today and I'm thinking about what it's like for a player to get from the minors and how much sometimes you actually have to struggle in the minors to make it to the majors. I saw your first Instagram post where you said it's a long journey. What is that long journey that people don't see? A lot of long bus rides, a lot of uh, doubling up in hotel rooms, yep. six guys living in a two-bedroom apartment, um, sleeping on broken futons. Yep. I mean, Food. Just, what's the food situation? Dominoes, if you're lucky, yeah. right? I mean, you're not really getting fed after the games. At least you weren't 10 years ago when I really? first got drafted. I know they changed a lot in the new CBA. Yeah, it's not easy, but I mean, also at the end of the day, you're also 18, 19, 20 years old playing baseball for a living yeah. when that's all you wanted to do. So, I mean, you really are living the dream, not realizing how much of a struggle it is, you know, when you get higher up and you start, you know, getting that better quality of life.